Good morning. Do we ever come across something, something that God is teaching us, but we don't understand it, and maybe we're kind of, kind of afraid to understand it? Let's look today together at Mark chapter 9, verse 30 to 32. Here's what it says. Then they departed from there and passed through Galilee, and he did not want anyone to know it. For he taught his disciples and said to them, The Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and after he is killed, he will rise the third day. But they did not understand the saying and were afraid to ask him. There it is. There it is. So many times we have had the same situation, haven't we? We've been reading in the Bible or studying something, and we felt kind of squishy about that. We didn't really understand that point. We're not quite sure what it means, what the Bible means there. You know what? A lot of times, sometimes we just simply need to reread it and we need to get some help in understanding it. That's true. But you know what? Many times the problem isn't the problem isn't what's in the text. People say the Bible's so hard to understand. No. Actually, most of the time the problem is that the Bible is, is too easily understood. We understand it and we we say, well, wait a minute, that, that's not negotiable. That's not on the table right now. And so sometimes that's our problem. We're afraid that if we understand it better, we will have be needing to give something up and we just don't have the trust of the Lord Jesus that we should have to trust him and be willing to surrender whatever he tells us needs to be surrendered. A lot of times our failure to understand is, is that we, I mean, let's be honest, Sometimes we don't want to understand. So what we have here is this verse 32, but they did not understand this saying and were afraid to ask him. Sometimes, you know, we're um, afraid to ask. Imagine that. You have the opportunity to talk to Jesus, but you're afraid to ask. But that's where a lot of us have been. Maybe that's where some of us are. What's the solution to that? Well, the solution is to be completely surrendered to Jesus. The solution is to say, Lord, I, I surrender. Help my surrender. Lord, I want to be completely, you know, whatever you have for me, whatever it is, I completely want to do that. And if I am lacking in the desire, give me the stronger desire to do what you have for me. And give me the understanding. I will, I will plead with you for understanding till I do understand it. So everything's available, everything's negotiable, everything's on the line. Lord, you can take anything. Just give me Jesus. And that's what we need. Think about that. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, in your mercies, you reveal one thing to us, and then we grow, and you reveal another thing to us, and we do it, and then we grow, and you reveal another thing to us, and we do it, and we grow, and, and then... We come to a spot where we don't have enough faith. We don't trust you enough. We're not sure of your love. So we hold on tight to some ridiculous thing. Please, Lord, give us a stronger desire to give up things for you, to receive things from you, because we know that we don't give up anything but that you give us something better. So please, Lord, help us to want to understand. Help us to uh, just be seeking you so fully that we're ready for whatever you have for us so that we can grow quickly and we can become agents you can use in this world that's coming to pieces. Please, Lord, bless us. Help us to not be afraid to ask. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God, help us all to be transparent with Jesus because he wants to take us up to the next level, up to higher ground. I'm going to higher ground, and I want you to come with me. God be with you. As you come up on your next thing, wherever it is, maybe it's right now, or maybe it's something that's coming later in the future, when you bump into something that, that you're not sure you understand or you're not sure you're ready for it, you know what? God knows if you're ready for it. He won't confront you with it unless you are ready for it. So keep that in mind. God be with you. Have a wonderful day. And let's be totally on the team with the Lord Jesus Christ.